Welcome to Progreso Mexico. My name is Pavel. And I'm Melissa. Together we have served on board Logos Hope for almost two years. As Mexican, it has been a pleasure to spend four months in our home country. So let us share with you some of the highlights of the ship's time in this port. Progreso has been our fourth and final port in Mexico. We've been berthed at the end of the world's longest pier, more than six kilometers off the coast. It was certainly an unusual one to arrive at, and the ship was welcomed by a group performing traditional Mexican dance. Our official opening did not go by unnoticed, and almost every newspaper, television, and radio station was represented. One of the guests of honor, Licenciado Rolando Zapata Bello, spoke about Logos Hope being a ship of hope and inspiration. Our visit has been well publicized and many people came to the ship, being transported from the port gate to the ship in shuttle buses. It was a logistical challenge, but it worked. At our busiest day in this port, we received more than 11,000 visitors on board Logos Hope. In this port call, we only had five days of activities, but our teams got involved in several projects. One group visited a hospital, while another team rolled their sleeves off for some practical work. In the hospital waiting area, crew members shared about the purpose of Logos Hope and introduced the countries they come from. Through games, music, and drama, they explained about the various distractions in life and what is most important to focus on. The team used their creative skills for face painting, putting a smile on the faces of the kids who were there to see the doctors. In Mexico, there are many serious cases of influenza. One way to prevent the spread of germs is to wash your hands properly. Our team gave a practical workshop about good hand washing skills and extra information about good hygiene, with the approval of the medical staff. Porque prevención es más importante parte de salud. Ahorita es tenemos como Yucatán epidemiología de, de influenza, entonces estaba como de muy necesario escuchar plática de prevención. Y segundo parte es es que tenemos como de nos falta conocer Dios, pero ellos a través de plática de prevención y hablaron de Jesucristo, porque anunció evangelio hoy adentro de hospital. We were able to bless the hospital with some chairs for their cafeteria. Now the staff can sit down during their lunch break and we're grateful for the donation. Together with the youth from a local orphanage, a Logos Hope team repainted the outside of a building and got rid of some stubborn tree trunks in the garden. It was hard work, but the team enjoyed working together with the local youth. Just being with them and showing them that we're so normal people but also answering their questions and they were super curious like about the ship but also about our lives and then they shared from their lives a little bit with them and also just painting with them and showing them hey if it's not perfect it's okay we can do it again that was really cool just encouraging them on board we had several cultural events where crew members from many different nations performed on stage and took the audience on a journey around the world Afterwards, the audience had the opportunity to connect with our crew in their national costumes and to take some photos with us. We are looking back at a beautiful time in Mexico in which more than half a million visitors came to the ship. Our next port will be Balboa, Panama. Thank you for partnering with Logos Hope and please keep following us in our journey to Latin America.